Hey guys, what is up? It's me, the one and only Sky Sky 99. We are back at this again. We are playing Hogwarts Legacy. I am the one and only. We are right now. There we go. There's our helmet. We are in the middle of meeting him. A friend Mary who speaks gobbledygook is meeting us. Before he arrives, perhaps you could tell me why we're here. Of course. Unfortunately, presenting Ranrock with the helmet of Earthgot did not have the effect I'd hoped. Because he knew the details surrounding its plunder, he presumed I'd had help from a witch or wizard in retrieving it. How else did he expect Goblin Kind to get the helmet back? Seems he has no interest in making amends with you. I'm afraid we do not have the luxury of rational expectation when it comes to Ranrock. Damn Bragbor and his blasted journals. Bragbor? An ancestor of Ranrock's, renowned metal worker. If we are to work together, I suppose I must tell you more. Not long ago, Ranrock sent me to collect a recently unearthed set of Bragbor's journals. They described repositories that Bragbor had been commissioned to build for a group of witches and wizards. What do you mean, repositories? Large, magically fortified receptacles crafted from goblin metal. Ranrock recruited others to help me locate the repositories. We were to search anywhere that was connected to five names mentioned in the journals. Rackham, Fitzgerald, Bacar, Morganock, and Rookwood. Rookwood Castle. That is where we began hey, our search. Hey, those Why are the people so that, that we are trees. learning about that he are cares also about keepers. What they contain. For centuries, wizards have refused to share their magical knowledge with goblins. <laughs> Your kind will not even let us carry wands. Thus, many goblins, myself included, have spent our lives mistrusting wizard kind. Ranrock was convinced that the repositories contained a magical power that wizards wanted to keep for themselves. He was, is, determined to take it for goblin kind. But he's... Here comes my friend Amit. Probably best to continue our conversation later. Greetings, Lord Gok. It is an honor, sir. You speak gobbledygook. Oh, Bacalio. Enough. Please do not tell me that was meant to be gobbledygook. I am. Um, well, yes. <laughs> Perhaps my pronunciation was a bit off. I imagine certain dialects differ. Pronunciation is not the issue. I barely recognize that as language. I trust you can read gobbledygook better than you can speak it? I can, I really hope you sir, can. Lord Gok. Just Lord Gok. Thankfully, we only need someone who can decipher written plans, since I cannot join you in the mine. What written plans? And why can't you come with us? We need some idea of what Ranrock knows or is plotting. I suspect a careless loyalist may have left plans behind. And I'm unable to join you because I cannot risk anyone reporting my presence to Ranrock. All you need to do is not be seen either by the eye above the enchanted door, or a loitering loyalist. What else should we know There's about the enchanted, enchanted door? door? The door will not open while the eye can see you. You and your friend must be invisible to it to gain access. From what I know of wizard magic, that shouldn't be too difficult to achieve. Wait. Wait, is that how I'm supposed to open those chests I will await eye? your return. I shall see you soon. Okay, um... <sighs> Jump that bitch. Jump. Okay. First off, I need to get this. Travel is always much nice. more enjoyable with a friend. The door is looking at us. Okay, so... Yes, of course. That is cool as fuck. So we have to be invisible. Books so rarely prepare one for reality. 
A real goblin mine. It's even grander than I had expected. Oh my. I cannot believe I met a goblin. Let's just learn what we can and get out. Look at this lift. Impressive workmanship for so simple. Impressive workmanship aside, it's the only way forward. You ready? Rebellion. He's glitching. Are you okay? Are you okay? I still can't believe we're inside a real goblin mine. I guess we need to do something over here. I've read about mines like this, but seeing one is something else altogether. Oh, jump. We need to be careful. As I'm sure you know, not all goblins are as friendly oh, as Lodgog, to say the least. Where are those plans gone? I had schematics in my hand a moment ago. Matter of time till Ranrock's house. Through here safely, I'll meet. You have my word. Dude, I don't mean for us to start a fight. I feel like a character from one of the adventure books I read during the summer holidays. I bet you do, sir. Let's take a look around, Amit. See if we can find any plans. Bound to be plans around here somewhere. Most of them, my family, were in the mine at one time. A schematic? They're building something. I can't quite make it out. Curious. Let me know if you see any more plans or schematics. We can't return to Lodgok empty-headed. I think this is where we were supposed to. No. Okay. Oh, we're gonna go down here. I think we are meant to go. Okay. If I'm translating this correctly, and I think that I am, they're building something rather large. But 
But what? There must be more notes around here. What could they be building? Yeah, I don't think I can do this stuff. Eh? Yeah, I really, really think the only way we're gonna do this is if we kill everyone down there. Which is gonna be fun. We're gonna have to make a big explosion. I wonder if the boiler powers the lever. I suspect it must. What are oh, they shit. going to build? This mine is too small for whatever it is. I will get to the bottom of what they've been building down here. She will get to the bottom of it, okay. Shoot 
that. This really is too much. Stay close. I've handled much worse. Another boiler. This place is more complex than I had expected. Yeah. There must have been something back here that we missed. Bring me a dozen humans to back. Really, I'd imagine most goblins to be brilliant and kind. Fascinating to see gobbledygook written in a goblin hand. The flourishes are extraordinary. Okay, then. Has to be somewhere else that. something this way. Check everything in there. We go over here. I want to take this. Go here. Such arrogance.
There's that. Don't turn it on, please don't. Should be the last of them I'll meet. Okay, so now this what? is not good. They're building enormous drills, bigger than this mine could contain. Let's get out of here and tell Lord Gok what we found. I need a moment to catch my breath. This was more than I bargained for. I'm glad you came with me, Amit. Now that we know what they're up to, we can get out of here. I'm used to this all the time. Exit in the mine. We've got a long way to go. We're almost out of here, Amit. Look, the lift. A welcome sight indeed. Oh, then yeah, it would have been this way.
such a long, long way just to get out. Um, can we please talk about what just... That wasn't so bad, was it? It was. It really was. I'm afraid I've had enough adventure for one day. For a lifetime, perhaps. Thank you, Amit. I couldn't have done it without you. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to have a word with Lord Cock. Understood? I'll leave you to it. Your goblin secrets are safe with me. But I get to write the book about this escapade someday. Without further ado, at you. They're building enormous drills. We found their plans. Ranrock must be searching for the repositories. I fear you are correct. Other than Rookwood Castle, however, I do not know where else he plans to search. I've been wondering about something else you said before we entered the mine. Yes? If you share Ranrock's views, then why are you helping me? I expected Rookwood Castle to be deserted when I arrived to begin my search. So I was surprised to find a witch there who had set up a sort of improvised research site. She was studying something so intently that she almost didn't notice me. When she looked up, I thought she would react with fear or disdain. But instead she did something that I will never forget. Without a moment's hesitation, she smiled and asked me to sit with her. She told me that she was a researcher and showed me a small, oddly shaped container with a strange symbol on it. She was certain it was made of goblin metal but was unable to open it. She wanted to work together. Miriam. Yes. But how did you... Professor Fig's wife. He told me of her research, and I know of the container. Ah. The reverence with which she talked of goblins and their intelligence and skill, it caught me entirely off guard. I'd never been treated with such respect by a witch or wizard. So, to my surprise, I let her study the container if she would allow me to search the castle on my own. We parted ways, with her promising to share what she'd learned. More of Ranrock's recruits arrived, and we began to dig, eventually locating the first repository. Ranrock was thrilled with our discovery, but furious when I told him about Miriam. Berated me for trusting a witch, and I heard she had been killed. You think Ranrock murdered her? I don't want to believe it, but I don't know. You should believe it because I trust After that, you. something you shifted me. in me. I had seen how the power from the repositories was transforming Ranrock, transforming all of them. I could no longer remain a part of it. Thank you, Lord Gog, for telling me this. Mm. I tell you all of this so that you understand what is at stake. <sighs> Ranrock never found all of Bragbor's journals, but the ones he did find suggest that Bragbor at some point built a repository far greater in size than the one beneath Rookwood Castle. What you've discovered here today worries me deeply. If Ranrock learns of the location of that repository, I fear we shall be destined for a great war. I will find out what Ranrock knows. Watch for my owl. That's some really serious shit. 
Well, I am gonna end it right here, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Make sure you keep it neco friendly. So close, I'm leveling up too.